Hey guys, we're going in the Wayback Machine and I'm going to share with you an old story I recorded many, many years ago at the early beginnings of my Final Expense YouTube channel. And it involves me interviewing a client for coverage that had uh, quite the story to tell me about her experience during Hurricane Katrina with Al Gore and then me learning how to deal, not so well, with the God objection. So <laughs> stick around and watch this old video. I hope you get a kick out of it. It's a funny story. And uh, if you're interested in joining a final expense agency, certainly check out the link above and below after this video is completed. Thanks for watching. Hey there, it's Dave Duford at Final Expense Agent Mentor at feagentmentor.com on the road to Florida today. It got a long drive, so kind of thinking of uh, some uh, interesting content to share here and uh, kind of in the process of uh, uh, running through my brain what to talk about, I thought, you know what I haven't shared yet today in the Final Expense uh, YouTube channel of mine is stories from the field. Um, <laughs> this business, if you've been in this business for six months, 12 months, you've eventually run across some wild stuff that's happened in this field. Because really, when you, you sell final expense insurance, you see how the other half lives, if you will. And so you have some interesting fodder to share. Uh, not necessarily war stories, but um, you know, just, uh, just really a shock and awe type of, of situation with what goes on there out in the business. So what I'm gonna do over a couple of videos is share some, I think, some hilarious and scary and some shocking stories that have always stuck with me over the years uh, because they really in some ways describe you know very well how these people think and who they are but also you know just are just uh, funny to share and are, are good for story time so the first one I'm going to share is about a lady I met probably within the first year of business. I live in uh, Chattanooga, Tennessee, and I was in a little suburb of Chattanooga called East Ridge. Uh, kind of, in my mind, always has been a good area to work final expense. But anyways, uh, I went down this road, and the road's probably about, I don't know, a half a mile straight shot, no curves or nothing. And you have to understand, when, when you see these people, kind of people would deal with are all kind of off a little <laughs> in a sense in a sense but um, as I'm driving I notice about a quarter mile down the road there's a pink mailbox instantly I think this is my girl all right this is what I'm seeing so as I'm approaching it right not only is there a pink mailbox but the woman has a old pink Cadillac that's right a pink Cadillac and on top of that I kid you not she has painted a picture of herself, like looking like a jester, you know, like a court jester, probably four by four foot, foot, yes, four foot by four foot, on the side of the house. All right, so <laughs> I'm cracking up already, just sparking my car. So she comes out to get me, she lets me in, she's got a, a fence that's chained off, so I walk in, I sit down, there's no furniture, maybe a seat, a chair. This is a black lady. And she's got these little <laughs> Confederate soldiers sitting on her piano. She's just cracking me up, you know. They got the Confederate battle flag. Yeah, I'm just like, man, what is what is wrong with this woman? And so she sits down, she says, Dave, you gotta help me. And I said, okay. She says, let me tell you my story. So this is back in 2011. She says, listen, I used to live in New Orleans. She said, I was down there when Hurricane Katrina hit. I thought, okay, wow, how'd you end up here? So she says, well, listen, this is what happened. I used to live in the, one of the quarters where, I don't know, she just lived downtown in New Orleans. And she says, I was one of the ones that stayed. I said, okay. And she said, I didn't leave when they told us to evacuate. I was there a day or two, and the water had, because, you know, her, her, the New Orleans had flooded, the water had risen above the first floor. A window. She said she had been determined that she had to escape. She had to get out before anything horrible would have happened. So she said she took a two by four that happened to be in her living room, broke out the window, water rushes in, and she jumps out and floats away. Starts swimming away, you know, down the down the 
one of the neighborhoods in New Orleans, you know, in the city, swimming down the street. And she says, then she saw it coming around the corner. It was literally a casket. The casket was floating down this, you know, the, the flooded areas of New Orleans. And she, she goes up to it, knocks on it, makes sure it looks good. She hops aboard, floats away, makeshift boat on the casket. <laughs> so, so she's floating down you know, the, uh, the, the neighborhoods in, in New Orleans on a casket. And she comes across an, an overpass on I-10, which goes through New Orleans, through Pensacola and Mobile, all through basically the southern corridor of, uh, of America on, on, on the Gulf Coast. So she gets on the, iPad, the overpass and she stays there for a couple of days until FEMA rescues her. And um, she's taken to an airport. She says, guess what happens there? I said, what? She said, none other than Vice President Al Gore flies in on a private jet with his jet, with Tipper Gore, and picks all of them up, about 50 or 60 people, and flies them up to Chattanooga and drops them off. And I said, that lady, that's a bunch of crap. You're making up stuff, crazy old woman. She says, aha, uh -huh. let me go get some. So she goes over to her wall. She had uh, uh, pinned to her wall a blown up laminated letter with Al Gore's letterhead on it, expressing his his uh, his deepest condolence to her loss, the things that she went through. It's signed Al Gore at the bottom. I was completely shocked. It was literally a letter from Al Gore. So <laughs> this this is before I even started talking about life insurance. So to get back to the actual sales call. This lady had taken out, this guy, lady was behind on her water bill. She had her bills kind of like, in, 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 you know, just not doing too well. And she was spending, a, what, what was she spending? She was spending like $180 a month on a, a mausoleum and a life insurance, or a, a pre-need plan, very a high price plan. This lady had no money, no money to squeeze between her. And she was just going over the top. So, long story short, I wrapped her into a, uh, life pay final expense plan for a considerably less a month. I saved her like literally $1,500 a year. So I thought, well, dang, I I killed this one. I did great. Eh, I spoke too soon. Because sometimes crazy people, when people are crazy when you meet them, they're real crazy after the fact too. So she called me up and she says, well, hold the phone. We're not going to cancel this plan yet. I got to meet with this pre guy. He wants to talk things over with me. And I thought, oh boy, he's coming to try to conserve the policy. So anyways, long story short, she calls me the next day. And she says, you know what, Dave? I had a dream last night. And God came into my dream. And you know what he told me, Dave, do for it? I said, what did he tell you? He said, keep that pre policy. Keep that mausoleum policy. And dump the one you just took out. Of course, me being new, and I just still don't have the answer to this question. How do you rebuttal? A divine objection. <laughs> How can you explain to somebody that God was wrong? <laughs> so, I couldn't do anything because I left it at that. But anyways, I thought I'd share that funny story because you really meet some of the strangest people in this business. And that was one of the funniest stories uh, I like to tell and convey to people. Because it's just, it has every element of one of the weirdest sales calls that you can do. So anyways, that's one of a few that I'm going to produce today. And this is David Duford for Final Expense Agent Mentor. Of course, if you actually want to sell some of these crazy people and learn from somebody who knows how to do it, visit my website, feagentmentor.com. Check my YouTube videos out. Make sure you try to subscribe to my videos while you're at it. And give me the thumbs up like as well. I appreciate it.